Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about Nicholas Drapier because he was ma doing a manipulated tactic with Screen Rant, where he was, where he tweeted um on Twitter, and he also got an article picked up through Screen Rant, where it was like, um, static static artist um wants to do the next DC project he wants to do is Batman Beyond first off knowing Batman Beyond is nowhere on the schedule for DC so that's already hell no but Nicholas um hey hey dude you must have forgot that you are diversity higher you are going to only draw black characters I, I thought this was I thought this was pretty well known I understand you like Batman Beyond and you drawing it and you gonna try to manifest it but no 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 in today's DC and today's comic book industry I don't know where you've been at but I need you to understand blacks write blacks and draw blacks and that's how the hell it, it's gonna be you know what I'm saying you might get lucky you might get lucky but there is there I think there's a Batman Beyond thing but that's like Sean um, Sean Gordy, um, Gordon Murphy. I haven't even heard them even announce a Batman Beyond thing. But even if they did, they're probably not going to, you know, no offense, not going to choose you because let's look at, we got to look at, we, they probably going to look at your sales from static and they're going to judge it and base it off of that. And I don't know. I mean, was that, is static a success? I, I doubt it. I really do. I doubt it. I doubt it. But I had told you. I said that this was going to happen. I I already knew once they set up there and they was like, oh, we're going to read. We're going to read on new static. And then y'all, and then when, when people were criticizing it, you were jumping down the whole throats about, oh, it, it's a new take and stuff like that. And we're, we're trying to um, stick it to the white man and show them that we we not meant to be played or that kind of stuff i said okay okay you know hey alienate half your audience you dumb dumbs because again most of your comic book readers are are what, what say it with me class straight white and male i don't understand what the hell y'all think that's gonna do it ain't gonna change nothing different yeah sure there's a few people of color but remember the people who was criticizing Static the most were people of color. So, so the the universe that's full of black people that that DC's trying to get people to read again is mostly being read by not black people. And then the black people that do read it was telling you, "Hey, this doesn't work." What y'all told us? There was a whole bunch of criticisms that y'all was getting and nobody wanted to change anything about anything y'all thought y'all was big and bad and everything and that's that's fine that's fine do whatever you gotta do to be honest do what do whatever you gotta do to be honest but you know y'all the ones who wanted to do static i mean y'all the ones who wanted to do this reboot and I, I, I understand it's a job it is definitely a job but you have to understand that you're in a, a position you're in a in an industry that focus solely on race and gender and politics they don't focus they don't Nicholas they don't care that you're a great artist they care that you're black because if they cared that you was a great artist you would be getting a, a lot of books by then but they don't they don't care because I can already tell you Nicholas there's been plenty of artists that worked for DC and Marvel, hot trash ass artwork, and were getting books. And the reason why they were getting books is because it went along DC's agenda that they needed to. Or, you know what? I'm not even gonna say DC. I'm gonna just say comic books, the comic book industry in general. That's their agenda. That's what they wanted to do. And that's what they got. To be honest, I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be frank with you, Nicholas. I'm not about to sit up here and try to sugarcoat sugarcoat it with you but when you accepted that you accepted the role of being the black artist 
for black characters, whether you want to or not. Now, you might could convince DC to let you do a, a, a special issue where Batman Beyond shows up in, in the Static Shock comic book, but hell, the damn book ain't doing all that damn well, to be honest. I mean... <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just being honest. Like, I'm just going to tell you, I'm just going to tell you how it is. Cause I talk to a, I talk to black people who read comic books. They was like, no, they're, they're not reading static because they think static is boring and they don't like the new reboot. So again, what were y'all thinking? If you knew what static was from the past, y'all should have sat down and said, Hey, I don't think our audience is going to like this. Well, we want to do something for today's generation and stuff like that. It ain't about them. It ain't about them. First, you need to get the old school fans on board. You need to get the fans that's been holding the character down for a long time first. And rebooting the origins wasn't going to do anything. And then you, then you changed Virgil. He looked like a straight bitch, to be honest. And no offense, Nicholas, your work is excellent, but it's not for comic books. Does that make sense? Like, sometimes you got to know your strengths and weaknesses and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not about to sit up here and try to compare apples to oranges with my work because, you know, hey, they probably just hire me as a as a cover artist, to be honest, because I don't know how to do interiors and I'm learning how to do interiors and still working on hands. So, who am I? But I'm just being honest. Not everybody's artwork is made for comic books. And what I'm saying is because you're so heavily influenced by anime it the book looks more like an anime more than it looks like a comic book and in the the way you drew Virgil's new looks and new style just doesn't work for the character it really doesn't and, I, and I'm not again I'm not blaming you. you you probably you probably did some designs and they probably they um the people at milestone said yeah that's the style we want instead of giving a style that will actually bring people back in for the character that be like, oh yeah, now this is the static. You know what I'm saying? At least with Icon and Rocket, at least the costumes look closer to the old classic costumes that they had. You saw they got rid of that. You, you saw they got rid of of Icon's little red costume because that costume was stupid. And then they went back to the classic, um, the classic red and green outfit because you want you want the character to be familiar. The same thing with hardware, but static is completely different. And now, what, you're trying to hope to God that you might get Batman Beyond? I mean, again, that's great. That's great. And maybe you might. Maybe you might. Maybe you, you might. But at the same time, I need you to understand that, first and foremost, you are a diversity hire. You are there to draw black people. Really. That's really what it is. It is what it is. It is what it ain't. But I like the manipulated tactics. Maybe you might got something. You might got something. But I'm not going to sit up here and be like, yeah, you got something going on. Not really. Not really. Because it's just a manipulated tactics to try to to try to try um, get DC to be like, oh, well, you know, he's a black person. He's like yipping for static i mean um for batman beyond and it might work it might work that's why screen rant talked about it because they can they can try to manipulate and turn fans against it or whatever and stuff like that and try to turn fans against dc to do it but we already know dc ain't about ain't about that life because if they was about that life milestone would be in a better position than what it is and it's not and people aren't really reading the static run i i'm just gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest I, I'm, I'm really being honest with you. I'm not even trying to bullshit anything o about it. But people are not reading the static run. And y'all have no one to blame but y'all selves. Because, I mean, I, I saw the Milestone Initiative little live, um, little Comic Con panel. Yeah, y'all was full of shit in a damn body bag. That was already a turnoff. That was strike one. Then strike two was the looks of of statics. Strike three was the retconning of the origins. Strike four was how it was laid out. And I, I'm just gonna be honest. It it just does not look like static. 
It's like nobody learned anything from the old classic static comic book. What what should have did if you were so if you were so called of a fan of, of static, what you should have did is you should have this is what I would have did. I would have been like, you know what? Instead of rebooting him for today's generation, why don't we just reintroduce the character? That's what we can do. Let's just reintroduce him. No harm, no foul. Just reintroduce the character. That's how you do that. Reintroduce the character. Pick up where pre-New 52 static left off at. That's how you do that. We not going to mention anything that happened with um, the New 52 or anything. Just pretend like everything happened like it was. And you can give Static a new suit, but make sure you keep his dreadlocks the same because he needs dreadlocks. The, 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 little, bitch, the little bitch boy braids that he got on? Nah, not, not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. And I, I, I love how you're inspired by anime and, and mangas. And this would be fine if if it wasn't a DC comic book. If you were doing your own original black anime anime character who just happened to have um, lightning powers, this could work. It, it definitely could work. I can definitely see it. But for a character like Static that already has history, that already has a fan base, and then to completely change the character around so drastically, I, I don't know what y'all was thinking. And now you're trying to hopefully get a Batman Beyond thing. I mean, okay, I guess so, but you know, hey, I, I I was trying to warn you that industry ain't ain't about that life. It ain't about that life. But you know, hey, you, you got sometimes you gotta learn the hard way with that kind of with that kind of stuff. But hey, it is what it is. But you know, hey, maybe hopefully you might get Batman Beyond. You never know. You never know. Maybe they might be changing or whatever. And maybe you might try to throw the race card out at them where you make them feel guilty. Be like, oh, what you trying to say? A black man can't draw Batman Beyond? No, nobody's saying that. They just want more focus on the black characters and they want black artists. I think that was that was the, that's literally the whole point of the milestone and the initiative that they're trying to do right now, that they're trying to get people of color, I believe, oh God, to um, apply for it. So, I mean... It is what it is. It is what it ain't. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Comments below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.